Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to have a go at the latest four daily challenges. Challenge one is a race at the Wrecknado circuit. Six lap race, all 24 vehicles. Ah, <laughs> I decided to go left and the car in front did exactly the same. So let's hang back just a little bit. I want to watch what happens in the center here picked a pretty good path on the left there oh those two have gone wide as well if i hold my position here trying to get knocked wide yeah that's a pretty good start got to watch these cars coming across on the left oh right in front of me just managed to break and avoid all of them though managed to avoid that spinning yellow one as well that's put us right up into third place got to watch all these cars coming across there they've just pulled in front of me let's swing it right back into third place behind right behind the leader in the second place they're already having a real ding dong battle a few cars down in the middle we're gonna have to watch this this looks like gap yet yeah, we through but around the outside of the second and the leader right let's pull right I think <laughs> myself in the second place went either side of a car and that's put me up into the lead now right just got to watch these bits in the center there's a spinning yellow car it's good behind it oh he's reversing ah slowed me down a bit but i managed to avoid him here's the second place yeah he's come up inside me but he swung wide can i get back inside him yep back up into the lead swapping places Okay, round we come again, again trying to spot where the cars are going to be, there's been a crash in the middle, some cars approaching from the left, managed to get a gap again, got a bit of debris on the front of my car. Okay, two laps left now. Oh, there were you going, he was swinging around, I couldn't avoid him, hasn't helped me up too much though. Couple of cars approaching from the right. Oh no! Saw that at the last minute and managed to break, so at least I haven't done too much damage. Not wasted too much time either. Okay, round for the start of the last lap then. Yeah, I saw that one coming from the right, so decided to swing and take the right hand path at the last minute. That's worked out well. Just got to get across here one more time then. Lots of cars falling into the middle oh somehow managed to get a path through the middle just got to avoid these back markers but we're through for the gold trophy and a win on the first challenge of the day For challenge two then we're at the Rattlesnake Race Park and what vehicle would be best suited for this track? Yeah the sofa car that should be good. 24 vehicles of all sorts of differing variety. Whoa sofa cars lost it already, a few spinners, a few crashes, we've managed to avoid them. Let's uh, hold the inside here and just take it easy around the first corner I think. Oh, it's an eight lap race that's that's a long race so oh managed to knock that one off in front of me i think we just need to take our time here i think consistency is going to be the key here we need to crash and fall off as uh, as few times as possible i think up into ninth got a bit of a run up the inside here as well might get a few more places whoop just watch you swinging into me Right, this is where the path splits up here. Well, looks like I'm going to take the left-hand path. I'm wondering if that one might be better anyway, actually. Normally when I've done racing at this track, I normally go for the right-hand path. I think it gives a much better line for this corner here. But in this sofa car, I think the left-hand path, the, the jumps on it aren't quite as severe, so I might be better doing that. I'm right up into third place now, right behind the sofa car that's in second place leader's just about to go around the hairpin right behind him now that 
that's nasty that jump there just need to keep in touch with this leader not let him pull away oh he's gone wide hit the tyres but he's got away with it it's allowed me to catch up a little bit though a little bit of a gap back to third place as well made up a little bit of time on that corner as well Ooh, nearly flipped backwards there as well that's, it. that's what you've got to watch in the sofa car when these jumps if you take it too fast and the sofa car tips back then you've you've had it that's what I'm really worried about on this this jump here this one is nasty so I'm taking it easy yeah see that flip back all oh, the leaders come off though I managed to avoid him that's put me up into the lead chasing bunch is not too far behind Okay, we've got a free choice. I'm going to take the left hand path again. Oh no, I've got it in the side. Ah, bad driving. And now I've got to straighten it up. Yeah, I've got the side of my car caught on the on the barrier on the side. Flip me around. Oh, there's a crasher there. I need to go around the outside of that. Damn, that's a shame. That's put me back into third. Actually, not too far behind. And still plenty of laps to go so I guess no big problem at the moment can we get up the inside here well he's right behind us I'm going to move out give him some space again no point no point fighting and battling and getting ourselves knocked off and wasting time it's more important I keep moving and keep up with the leaders. If I'm going to, uh, if I'm going to have to do some hard fighting, I'll wait till the end of the race before I do that. Right, right, behind the leader, I'm going to have to take this right path. Always oh, come across and taken the right path anyway. Whoa, he's off. No, he's not off. <laughs> How did he do that? He went right over on his side and then flicked back up again. Oh, second place has got a bit of a wobble on him. They've both gone wide. I'm going to take this corner quite tight that's got me up right behind the leader third place right behind us okay start of lap five then and the halfway point of the race looking from the map we're going to be catching up with some bat markers soon as if uh, as if we hadn't got enough to concentrate on again i'm taking it easy on that jump i think it's definitely the way to go Ooh. That's second place gone, is it? No. I don't. I missed whether it was the leader or the second place hit a bat marker. It looked like both of them were going to be wiped out, but one of the the guy in front of us got away with it somehow. Okay, let's switch back to the left-hand path this time. <laughs> that leader's done it again. He's taken the right path misjudged it gone over on his side and flicked back up again again they've both gone wide i'm going to take this tight path that seems to to work really well for me oh, i've gone wide though what have i done come on get back on your wheels come on no what have i done i just got back into the lead again and totally misjudged that corner and ended up going over the edge Oh well, still in third. And where are the lead two? There they are. Oh, is that one of them gone over? I think they did, but again, I think they've bounced back onto their wheels again. A couple of vehicles right behind me. I don't know if that's they're racing for position. I think they probably are. Yeah, first and second, still battling hard. Is he going to do his normal trick of go over on his side and back again? No, he's actually taking the jump 
cleanly this time. Oh, there's some back markers. And it's right on the in oh, right on the inside of that bend as well where I like to where I like to go and where I tend to make up a lot of time. That's a shame. No mind, I am still pulling this gap back. It's definitely much closer than it was. Okay, just two laps to go as well. Yeah, we'll have to see what these back markers do. Oh, that's one of the back markers off. Didn't come out of ghost mode, fortunately, and the front two have had a tussle, and one of them's gone. So that puts me in second right behind the leader. Ooh. Car shot past me, but it was a back marker. No, don't push me wide. That's really not what I needed. I was in a really good position right behind the leader, and now the leader's got a bit of a gap again. Oh, he's gone over. No, again, he's <laughs> managed to stay on his wheels. And that has brought me right back up behind him. Let's not run wide and go over the edge of the track this time. Okay, we've got a gap behind us as well, that's good. This has been a fantastic race, so close. Start of the last lap then. Let's see if we can uh, make it a good finish for us. Couple of back markers down here, coming out of ghost mode as well, so something we've got to watch for. Leader ne nearly toppled over again, but again got away with it. Sofa car's in the way. Hopefully he'll hold the leader up. No room to go around the outside really. So it's just hold position. I mean unless he makes some mistakes on these jumps, this is not the place to overtake. I'm wondering if I'm gonna get a chance at this corner if I hold it tight. I've been really fast. Obviously I don't know what the bat markers are gonna do. Went over on his side, that pushed him out wide, and I have got a gap. Perfect. Yeah, we've got a bit of a gap. Am I brave enough to change the camera? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> what a race that was. Fantastic race. Really enjoyed that. Another gold trophy. Challenge three then is a score streak at the Thunder Bowl. Had a few score streaks here lately. Three minutes to get a score of 3,200 to start with for the Bonds Trophy. Of course, we're going to be trying trying to get the gold though. Let's see how I get on. I think I'm on some incredible run with the score streaks at the moment. I've had a really good run of getting gold trophies, and I'm fairly sure now it's three in a row where I've, I've managed to get the points I need for the gold trophy with, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 seconds left. So they've been really close. I mean, I wouldn't mind if we managed to carry that on, but it'd be even nicer if we could try and get the gold trophy a little bit earlier. Had a reasonable start here, picking up points quite nicely. Got our score multiplier up. Just coming up to one minute gone. I mean, ideally, it would have been nice to have got the bronze by now, but I mean, with the fact, there we go, there's the bronze now. That's that's pretty good going, actually. Because, of course, we've got the score multiplier up now. This car's driving around with damage already, so we should theoretically be able to pick up points quicker now. And also the, the totals we need for the next levels aren't aren't as big at increments as for the bonds. One thirty, so that's half of our time gone. Still making pretty good progress. We have lost our score multiplier though. We are picking up some wrecks though, so at least we're we're getting good points. We'll take an easy hit there. In fact that didn't count. I think the front end of my car is totally gone, so we're at that point again where if you're going to use the front of your car, you've got to get pretty big hits like that to, to score points. Last minute then. 
still haven't got the silver so are we going to make this another there's the silver now okay we need 2,000 points more roughly to get the gold and we've got 45 seconds so I don't know if we're going to do it but if we are I think it's going to be <laughs> I think I'm going to be continuing my run of leaving it to the last minute another 800 points 30 seconds to go 500 points 30 seconds to go we should get there if we if we keep just picking up the hits oh that was good I'm really glad I didn't miss that one that would have caused problems can I get that wreck didn't ah, didn't count oh we've got a wrecking assist though that's second best and we've got a gold trophy with another wrecking assist as well that was pretty lucky actually that we we did that so what was that something like 10 seconds again left where we picked up the gold trophy how many points did we get in the end over 10,000 okay fourth and final challenge of the day then and we're back at the Recnado circuit in Bugzilla again which has made quite a lot of appearances in the daily challenges lately 12 of us all in the same vehicle all the same performance as well three lap race so that's not a lot of time so I need to make sure I stay up near the front and try and get in the lead as quick as possible here okay around we come we can see the other horde of cars coming from the right I'm gonna hang back a bit here three in a line there they've all pushed themselves wide though which has allowed me to get oh I've got to watch these ones join in here right behind the lead two and I've got a good run up here that's put me in first place that's not bad going getting up into first so quickly but we are already on lap two about halfway through the lap as well they all coming around from the other side no well there they are now so we have got a bit of a lead oh that's always the problem though on this circuit though you never know if you're going to get wiped out last lap just got to get through the center one more time it's looking clear at the moment oh there's a car coming from the right just spotted that at the last moment and made sure i stay right myself just got to get around this corner looks like there's yeah one over to the left and one behind me but they were way behind all bit of oversteer there but we're through and the final goal trophy of the day well that's the end of the daily challenges for today and we've managed to get a clean sweep of gold trophies again some really exciting fantastic races today i hope you've enjoyed watching the video and see you soon